G'day guys, Jamin here. We're back again with this video here. What we're gonna go through is XAG's new smart entry and exit option. This thing has really changed a lot of crashes. So a lot of guys had crashes where they set the field up wrong in previous models and then uh, most of the crashes happen on the way to the field and the way back from the field. So they've brought in this new safety feature now. Awesome function. We have it always turned on on all of our guys just for safety. It doesn't matter the field, it's just an awesome feature. So we're gonna go through now. We're gonna jump over to the phone here now. You can see I've marked out a uh, field. It's, as you can see, it's got a dog leg in it. So some of our fields do look like this uh, and it's a good example of what we're gonna go through here now. So pretty much we're gonna to go to operation. We're gonna go, we're gonna start the field as if, we're, as if we're doing it. You can see here now, it's a funny looking field. I'm gonna change this because um, this is just set from when we did our operation last time. Um, yeah, actually one meter spacing's fine. I'm gonna make it go like this just for this video. Funny looking field. Anyway, so you can see here now, if we go into approaching route there, you can see it says enable guide point planning. Pretty much what that is is it, it finds the closest, yeah, the closest entry to the field and then goes directly to that. So it's the most efficient, once because once it's in the field, it knows it's safe, okay? So you can see here now, that's that green line there. And then that point there, that little, I don't know if you can see that point there, that green point. So that is the safe entry of the field. When it goes to the, when it starts its job, it'll always go to that point. And when it returns to home, it'll always go to that point first. Then it'll come back on that green line. So what that means is, this is a prime example here. So say for instance, um, I finished all the way down here, right at the end here. Previous models used to be righto. They used to say, righto, I'm just gonna come back. I'm trying to come back as quick as I can, trying to save battery. What it's gonna do is it's gonna cut straight across. It's gonna cut straight across from there back to the home point. Now, there could be a heap of trees right here. So we wanna make sure that once it's in the field, it knows it's safe. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna cut across here. So what they've done now, they've enabled a safe point. You can also say if you're in an open wheat field, there's nothing at all, you know you're safe. Um, or say for instance, you're flying 50 meters high, you're above all the trees, nothing. You can turn this off as well. So it's not like you have to run this, it's just a great safety feature and I do recommend running it, especially when you're first learning. So you can see down the bottom here, we can turn it off. So if we turn that off, It'll give you a warning and it'll tell you that on the way to the job and the way out of job, you could hit something. And I'm going to acknowledge it. So now this yellow area here, out of the field, it's saying it could potentially fly in that area. So if you have a funny looking field, it'll come up yellow wherever it's saying it could potentially fly. Only because if it finishes down here, it's going to cut across real quick to the, the quickest most point. So if you, if you turn that back on, you can see now, it's safe, it's gonna fly directly into the field. And you can move this as well. So say I wanna go here, like I wanna go over here first. I can do that as well. So you can move your entry point and your exit point. It's a great feature, we love it, we use it all the time. And a little trick as well, what we found, have your speeds going into the job and out of the job quite fast. Because you think about it, when it's flying to the job, it's 50 liters in there, it's quite heavy. That's when it's gonna use its most battery. So if it gets to the field as quick as it can, start spraying, it's gonna be the most efficient it will be. Because we've had some customers flying to the field at two meters a second. It takes another few minutes for it to actually get to the job to start spraying. And it's already used a lot of battery because it's flying so slow, keeping that heavy weight up in the sky. So fly to the field quite quickly. You'll get a lot more efficient. You'll be able to spray, you know, it'll come back with still 60% battery, um, even after it's sprayed 50 liters. So that's a little tip as well. So try and get that. Although just make sure you are uh, confident flying it. If you've spent time with us, you'll be pretty confident. But um, yeah, just double check, triple check everything before you fly. That's a quick run through of that. Cheers. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos coming. Cheers, thank you.